Uh, the third important operator in the vector algebra is the curl operator. Uh, if I want uh, to speak about the origin of this operator, I have uh, I have to describe the Hodge duality in topology. I don't want to speak such deeply, uh, but the results of that the origin is very important. From physical viewpoint, the curl operator represents the rotation of something. Curl. Uh, the meaning of the word curl, this term, uh, means to swear. For example, I have the curly hair, as you see. So the curl, especially in Freud mechanics, shows the vorticity or the rotation of an element of a fluid. Uh, so when the curl of a uh, flow is not uh, zero, it's rotational. Uh, sometimes the curl operator is uh, shown by ROT of something, the ROTS, ROT, rotation, means rotation. Uh, it has many applications in uh, elasticity theory, in electromagnetics, in fluid mechanics, and so on. Uh, we show the curl operator in Gibbs notation as the cross product of the del operator and something. It's important to uh, know that the <clears throat> curl operator can be applied to a scalar or a vector or a tensor. Generally speaking, in three-dimensional space, the order of the maximum order of input of the curl operator is two. So in three-dimensional space, but it's meaningful to compute the curl of a scalar, which is a matrix. The kernel of a vector, which is again a vector, and the kernel of a tensor, which is a scalar. The kernel of a scalar or is uh, used in elasticity theory uh, in computing the compatibility relation in fluid mechanics on, uh, or in elasticity theory. But generally, we deal with uh, the uh, Curl of a vector, which is again a vector. I guess you know how to compute the curl of a vector. But in two-dimensional space, the maximum order of input of the curl operator is one. So in two dimensions, we can compute the curl of the scalar, which is a vector, and the curl of a vector, which is a scalar. But we cannot compute the curl of a tensor or a matrix in two-dimensional space. The reason of uh, such strange uh, definition uh, is the origin of this definition, which is the Hodge duality uh, characteristics. Okay, uh, you have uh, some insights about the computing the curl of a vector in two-dimensional flows. When we have a two-dimensional flow, flow, it means that we uh, the flow field is just in a uh, in a plane, so we have two coordinates. So I, when I want to compute the rotation of something which is restricted in a plane, the only component of the vorticity or the curl of velocity is in z direction. So the curl of a plane flow is a scalar. So in two dimensional space, the curl of a vector. Uh, the velocity vector is a, is a scalar, okay? And uh, again, we know how to compute the curl of a vector. This, uh, the curl of a vector is the determinant of this matrix. The first row uh, is composed of uh, unit uh, base vectors. The second row are partial derivatives, or the del operator. And the third row is the second vector, which is U here, but for example, the velocity. 